first and foremost, um, and I say this so you hear me, all right, you get named captain, okay, if you don't be named captain, that doesn't mean you're not a leader. That doesn't mean that you can't, give me your eyes, okay, up here, okay, that doesn't mean that you don't have an important role on the team, okay, this is all voted upon by you guys, all right, and then obviously I have proof, just like I told you I was going to, all right, but the whole leadership thing is when you're voted on by your peers, that's a special thing, all right? And there's a tremendous responsibility, all right, to uphold that, okay? First and foremost, you lead by production. Don't ever forget that. You lead by producing, okay? On the field, in the weight room, classroom, okay? As well as your conduct off the field, okay? And wearing this logo, all right? But understand, okay, elected by your peers, it's a big time deal. All right, and it's a tremendous responsibility. Okay, we got 16 dudes. Okay, five seniors, five juniors, three sophomores, and three redshirt freshmen. So as I call your name, okay, come down here. We'll clap for each one of them. It's kind of a big deal. All right, and so you guys just kind of line up here. All right, and then uh, we'll take a big picture here at the end. All right, so I'll start with the seniors. All right, right out of the gate. Okay, in an alphabetical order. All right, first one up, number one, Jordan Brooks. Okay, we're dead average. Okay, 
Yes, it's voluntary, okay? But it's player-led, man. And when it's player-led, it's special. And when it's guys that lead out here, and this group's accountable to each other, and then this group is accountable here, and you're accountable there, and it becomes more this way, okay? And it's not a hierarchy. It's not a captain to another player. It becomes horizontal leadership. Special things happen, man. Special things happen, all right? And so I say all that because it's not this team. These guys right here won't win just by themselves. Okay, those coaches on the back row, the coaches that are out in the building right now, we can't win by ourselves. And you know what? If you guys walked out and I got to coach this group, we couldn't win by ourselves. That's why it takes every one of us. Strength staff, academic staff, everybody. Okay, everybody that's us, okay, it's we, us, and I. And we have to understand that. And the faster we understand that, the faster we win now. Okay, and the same thing goes with trust. Man, it just takes time. It just takes time. Yeah, I hear you. I get it. So walk your butt into my office a whole lot more often. Walk into Coach Schultz's office a whole lot more often. Okay? Come together as a group more often and go in there and watch an extra tape or extra needs or FRC or you name it. Okay? We don't have time. We do have time. Okay? We have time this summer. If we'll take the same leash that we took from January to April, we go from May, listen to me, we're not starting in June. We better go now. You better understand that. And those workouts the rest of this week, and what he gives you through the middle of May, you better understand it. You don't restart in June. We can't restart, man. You can't restart in June. We gotta keep going. Does that make sense?